In this tutorial, we're just going to put together what we've shown you so far and make a good looking wilderness encounter map within minutes. So getting started here, just go up to map and uh, new map, leave it as hexes, just change that to one, change the pixels per cell to 100 pixels per hex there. Go into textures, I'm going to use a, uh, this looks like good forest grass there. So pop that in. Now I already have the grid out here. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit, I can make a little bit of a larger map quickly. One of the first things I'm going to do here is close this out. and I'm going to make a road and a river. So first I'm going to go up to the default textures and use air. That's a good gravelly road. And I'll make it two hexes wide, so that's 200 pixels. Go in the background, and then you just I'll go out a little bit more. You just draw it now across the entire map, and there you have a nice little gravelly road. Now for the river, you just go into your textures, and I'll use a water texture. It's a good river texture. I'll increase it to 300 pixels, or three hexes. 300 hex, um, pixels, by the way, is the maximum. And you can just draw this through. Now I'm going to draw, draw over this a second time. That way it's just not this completely uniform thing, because rivers usually aren't and that way you get a little bit of variation in there. And the last thing I'm going to do, so it's just not cut in here, and this obviously wouldn't be needed, especially if you need to make it very quickly. I'm going to use patchy grass here, lower it to uh, 50 pixels, keep it in the background, and now just very quickly draw over. See, I missed a little bit there. I can just come back and draw this. I'm just making a, uh, a bank here. You can do this fairly quickly quickly because you have it wider like this. Have a little transition like this can really make a lot of difference. So when you look at this now it's not just you know cut right in going from grass to water. It actually has that different look to it and you can use you know some sort of muddy texture or whatever you like and it would work quite well. And after this we're going to go into our images. See now there you go. We have a nice little bank there but we'll go into our images and uh, go into structures and get a bridge so we can get across the river. Uh, stone bridge. Let's whip this one out. Alright, oh, see I had the wrong layer chosen. It came in as a token. So now I'll make sure it's in the background layer. And I'll bring this out now so now it's a little bit better. And I'll use shift to make sure it stays in proportion. That should be good. Shift and control for good rotating. And that should go, rotate a little more. That should cover it pretty well. Goes right across, it's a decent size. Okay, now vegetation. What I'm going to do is go over to this section here. Again, use background because I'm be doing brush and uh, trees and that sort of thing. So get out of structures, go down to, here we go, vegetation. Use bushes. Do some a little bit of undergrowth. And let's see, go down to something that's a little bit brighter green so it stands out against what you have here. For a br piece of brush, it's obviously too big, so again, I'll resize it down to just about there. Now, to do this quickly, Control C, copy, and I'll make some little stands of underbrush here. What I'm doing is creating a series of clumps. And that is a way that you can make up little f stands of forest much easier. So now you have some clumps there. And then I'll get out of bushes and go down to trees. I don't think you have to use a whole bunch of different type of trees. That'll just make things last longer. I'll go into oaks. Use just a couple trees, and you can do a lot with just that. And I'll say this one as well. So there you have two, so you have a little bit of variety. Uh, I'll this one be my oh, use shift here. Yeah, be my little bit of a smaller tree. And this one be a larger tree, but still that's quite a bit too large. So that should work. Okay. So you can control C again and just pop a bunch of them in there. And you see they're going over the top of the undergrowth, which is what you want. And there you go. And then control C again and put just a couple of these larger ones in there. All right, now how you do this is select all of them and hit control C. Now you have a, a stand of forest essentially. So now you can hit control C and put a clump up there have them overlapping a little bit. That's always good. Get a little bit denser if you need it. There you go. Okay, now I see you have some that are, you know, like in the river, so you have to go back and, and move those around actually since you have a 
probably a little bare spot that maybe you want something overhanging the bridge a little bit here that'd be kind of nice maybe take one of these and put them down here so you don't have so much of the bare spot but that's really a quick encounter map you look in here now and go through this as they come through maybe you'll move a couple trees a little closer just so it's not such a, a space right there between the the road and the forest but that's really your encounter right there and that's done pretty well now if you have some extra time you can always work on details for example I'm um, staying here let's see uh, get out of vegetation and trees I believe it's under textures I have uh, rock and rubble throw some rocks into your river so those pop out you know shrink them down a little bit say to right there I have some rocks in there but they're just right on top so a nice little trick you can do I'll leave it at 50 but go into um, your textures use the same water texture I was using before change the opacity go down to just 10 percent and now go up to object layer so it will be above these and now you just go over the top of these rocks but you have them kind of see through now because you lowered the opacity and now you can see it looks like the water is kind of going over the top of them a little bit especially if you zoom in a little bit you can see it's the water going to the top and you can change the opacity experiment with that if you wanted to but really the, the you can spend a lot of time on details if you wanted to obviously you'd want to oops let's see here get to the right background layer move a couple of these out of the way so you don't have stuff right in the middle of the road but zoom out a little bit and there you are. So details are always fun to work on if you have a little extra time, but just using you know clumps of things and copying and pasting and just using the drawing tool some textures can get you a lot in a very short period of time. I hope that gets your imagination going and shows you what you can do in a very short period of time with MapTool.